Oh, 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 comeback is real. Hello everyone, welcome back lovely tactics family and new viewers to another live commentary on Battlefield 4. Now, today's video is going to be topic based and we're going to be talking about shotguns and if they do require skill in order to be used. Many people have the misconception of believing that shotguns are non-skill based. Now, here's where I come in with my philosophy on this. Shotguns pump actions are skill based, but automatic shotguns are not skill based. And whoa, hold on, let me just get this guy here. And that you don't need much skill to perform with them, which that is very wrong. Pump shotguns, as you guys will see, getting a nice kill streak here. Pump shotguns really do require aim and stability in order to gain a, a, a proper kill streak and to actually be successful with these things. Now, if you're in close parameters, as you guys will see, whoa. Uh, close parameters then shotguns are very very powerful and people just hate them because of their ability to one pump kill now this is an outstanding kill streak that I'm going on right now and I should be healing myself in order to keep this going here uh, but to be honest the spas 12 is by far one of my favorite pump shotguns to use um, in this video I'm also going to be talking about certain maneuvers and abilities you should take into consideration when using a shotgun in any case. Now I am using the shorty as a secondary to show you guys that another pump shotgun um, as your secondary is also very useful. So since the spring patch the shotguns have gotten a very big buff in their ability of range. Now makes them very powerful and it just it's just a very very overpowering sense of range that these things have nowadays I wouldn't mind if the range gets dumbed down a little bit to compensate for their massive power each shell oh so he ends my kill streak there 12 kill streak wow that was that was a big one so you guys may see that I'm running with a med bag uh, a smaller med bag than opposed to the big one uh, simply because I find that it's very useful in uh, moving around and playing as the hunter faction oh give me that yep, it's not not very often do you see me get a front knife I, I normally tend not to go for it but um as you guys saw you know just using your cover and actually you know moving around so the reason why I say that uh, pump shotguns require more skill is because sometimes you can miss um, a few shots here and especially in close parameters if you miss your first pump the few milliseconds it does take you to actually reload the next shell will actually be detrimental to your survival um, it's gonna be very tough for you to actually get something done and especially when you're going up against fast firing weapons such as AK from Oz or high damaging weapons such as the scar H look at all these guys running down here all right, so he's definitely coming up or he's going the other way around get a kill assist there all right got this guy down As you guys can see the difference between being able to land one shot or two is um, is is very 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 dependent on whether you can aim properly with this weapon. This guy running in the distance here. Ooh, two shots from range. Now here you'll be able to see the example I gave previously with the shotguns being a little bit more range independent. So as you guys can see, I end here 22 and 8. So we're going to be moving on to a different map to show you guys that maps do change the perspective of how you use a shotgun oh 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 the comeback is real the comeback is real okay actually oh wow i got him behind the corner there and so here in Rogue Transmission, a shotgun is really useful because it can work outside and it can work inside. Like, it's not that much of a longevity when it comes to, you know, the middle of the map, which is there. Um, it, it just changed when, when it's um, significantly outer outside there in the hilltops. But when it comes to this medium zone here, it's, it really doesn't um, if you're using a shotgun, you know, in my opinion. Now, it all comes down to how you know how to use these things and um, which one you're using as well. 
I believe that the Spaz-12 is one of the better ones out of the pump shotguns. Just has very high damage and accuracy. And look at that guy there. He was not expecting to get taken out by a shoddy. And this guy in the long distance, if he does, he's not careful. Shotguns can actually do massive damage from range. Ooh, look at that. You see what I mean? Jumping down here. Catching this guy by surprise. Oh, can't revive. Nope. But I can kill. I can kill. And then I can revive. So I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go the other way. And I'm going to be hopping per periodically so that he does not hear my footsteps. That's another thing you can do is a constantly hop. See, it's, he was not fully aware of where my, you know, my situation was coming from. And I say situation because, you know, I am a big situation when I'm running these shotguns. I don't do it that often, but when I do, boy, I feel like that guy from the Dos Equis commercial. I don't always run shotguns, but when I do, it's horrible for the enemy team. All right, it's a tie ball game. Let's see what we can do here. I know this guy's going to be hiding right there. Whoa, 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 a lot of commotion going on. Am I hidden? Am I hidden? Oh, whoa there, buddy. Where are you going? I'm going to flank around here. Oh, yes, I was able to get him before I died. He's getting revived, so it really didn't matter. Okay, so we have lost the lead. We need to do a little bit more reviving. Yep, no problem. People are so thankful nowadays. Well, not, not, not everyone, but some people. Some people are courteous enough to say thank you. So I'm going to hop down here. Try to get this guy. Okay, got to kill this. Revive this one, dude. Whoa. Hey, yesterday's video was on that weapon. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Does it burn? Okay, there's going to be another one coming around. Yep. Oh, wow. I got taken out from the left. So how do you win in TDM? Easy. You revive your teammates. Run shotguns. Run medic. Simple as that. Nah, I'm just kidding. You don't have to run shotguns. Uh, you can just revive your teammates, throw down med packs. You know, that's, that's, that's the only way to win. You know, you revive each and every teammate you see responsibly. Don't just go with your defibs out of nowhere and just start reviving without looking around first. You know, if you want to be uh, reviving on the move, then you, you can use... Um, Oh, you getting in my way? You getting in my way, sir? At least I got a kill. Oh. Full pellets. And I was the last kill, unfortunately. As you guys can see, top right, AR-160 took me out. But this video, to show you guys my opinion and how shotguns can be ran and how they should be ran or run. Or run is not a word, but run. And... You know, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been planning on, I was planning on doing this type of video for a while now. And uh, maybe I'll do it for the PDWs, the snipers, who knows. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys believe that shotguns do require skill and if they're overpowered in their range and such as I mentioned in the video. So, as always, thank you all for watching. I love you all. And remember guys, stay loyal to your tactics.